No later than 2004, Gregory Bolig's Chester assembled an all-star team of drug dealers, robbers, and killers known as the Hobos to control narcotics trafficking in the areas around the Robert Taylor Homes and Ida B. Wells housing projects. Meanwhile, Snitch's news, before wearing dirty Batman draws on his face, would get shot in the head by a little boy in 2004. So I'm going to stove, get my shit, I'm standing up, and this little motherfucker come through the door, he couldn't even push the motherfucker door or pull it on his way out. He, he was that little, he, he was that little. In 2005, Snitch's news got arrested for soliciting a crackhead for sex. Man, look at all these chicks! Oh, wow. Wow, if I were a woman, I would press my bare boobs up against glass in public just for the SEXUAL THRILL! THE SEXUAL THRILL! Meanwhile, in 2005, Byron Brown, a.k.a. Berupt, and his twin brother Brian, who was known as Twinsco, or just Sco, along with their homie, Rodney Jones, who was called Milk, had gained leadership positions within a gangster disciple set known as the Met Boys. In 2006, the Med Boys started selling drugs for the hobos on 51st and Calumet. By 2006, it was official. Berupt, Sko, and Milk were now hobos. Bolegs, the leader of the hobos, was shot 19 times in June 2006. Snitch's news lied on the witness stand during the O-Block Rico trial that he was the nigga that shot Bolegs. We'll let him tell his lies about the Hobo Twins, and then we'll return to tell everyone the truth on the Cartoon News Network. Today's story is about the evil twins, man. Brian and Byron, man. I first met the twins in, in Cook County in 06. We was all in Cook County together. And then we went to boot camp together. When we was in Cook County, we was riding together on the deck, Vision 11. And then we, when we went to boot camp, we was in the same class. So we built a bond. We exchanged numbers. Me, him, and his brother exchanged numbers. You know, they knew I, what I was, where I was from. I knew where they was from. We ain't never had no beef, though. Things would change, though. But until then, things changed. I was getting up with them. You know what I'm saying? They was coming to my sister's house. I was going over their house. And we was kicking it. Hitting legs together, smoking. You know what I'm talking about? Trying to plot on how to get some real money. Whereas we just got out. You know, basically, we was going to form a super team. That's what we said, bro. Like, ain't nobody into it. Then my people got family down there. He one of the main dudes down there from, uh, from Matt Boys. He was one of the main dudes at that time. So we ain't had no problem with them. So we was trying to form us a little team, get out of jail, try to take some shit. But the hobos would kick in, man. Arnold would go over there with the D. Man, Arnold would go over there with the D. Man, Arnold would go over there. With the D. And the D. The D on his, right? Is he reaching? Camera. With the D. 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 Stand the D. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you know, I'm getting them. They got, got an opportunity to feed their family and eat cars, you know what I'm talking about? And then got a back and behind them and get cars and clothes and shit that they never had. You know, they joined alone like anybody else would. Man, Arnold would go over there with the D, with the D, with the D, with the D, with the D. Come on! Now, let's take a look at the decision from Byron Beerup Brown's appeal, reaffirming the lower court's verdict and two life sentences to find out what really happened. The hobos ran many drug lines throughout Chicago's South Side. Defendant Bush managed two heroin lines, known as cash money, identifiable by the baggies green dollar signs, and X-Men, identifiable by the red X on the baggies. Ford and others sold the cash money line at 47th Street and Vincennes Avenue, and hobo associate Kevin Montgomery sold cash money at 51st Street and Martin Luther King Drive. Members of another gang known as Met Boys sold X-Men at 51st Street and Calumet Drive. Bush also had a drug line at the Ida B. Wells housing project. This is an infamous picture of Gabriel Bush on vacation with his homies that was used as evidence the hobos had a lot of money for niggas with no jobs. Council and other hobos oversaw drug lines at the Robert Taylor Homes selling Pink Panther marijuana and crack cocaine, so named for the Pink Panther logo on their baggies. Derek Vaughn, to whom we refer as Derek, to differentiate him from his brother and co-defendant, to whom we refer as Stanley, sold cocaine at 47th and Vincennes. The hobos also supplied drugs to each other. Council provided marijuana and crack cocaine to various hobos, and Chester supplied heroin. Many witnesses testified that the gang was a distinct, identifiable group. I'll name two and review their testimony. Rodney Jones, a.k.a. Milk from the Met Boys, confirmed that an organization called the Hobos existed, and he was a member. And Snitches News Big Homie, after the murder of Antonio Beans, blew it. Cashel Williams, the leader of the Fifth Ward BDs, testified that the Fifth Ward and Newtown, an allied faction, BDs, were in a conflict with the Dirty Low and the Hobos in September 2007. The hobos won the war when they killed Beans and 5th Ward BD member Gregory Neely, a.k.a. Slapo, after they attended a funeral. Williams testified that the hobos included Joe Buck, a.k.a. William Ford, Poe, a few more dudes. After they paid respects, they got into Blewett's Range Rover, made a U-turn, and were idling when he heard Blewett say, It's on. Several cars then drove by, Williams heard gunshots, and blew it, and Neely were fatally hit. Williams did not see the shooters, but he saw Ford. Drive by shortly after the shooting. Jones testified that, with Bush, the Vaughn brothers, Council, Ford, and others, he killed Blewett and Neely. Council had pulled up to the spot where several hobos were hanging out and asked them if they had poles, meaning guns. He told them that he knew where Blue it was, mentioned the bounty that Chester had placed on Blue it, and stated that he was ready to kill for the money. They told a med boy to get some guns. Jones gave one to Brown's twin, Brandon, and then got in the car with Council and Brandon. They met up with Bush, Ford, Derek, and others in an alley. Once Blewett was in his car, Bush yelled, go, go, go. Council's car was in front, with Brandon in the front seat and Jones in the back seat. Bush was in the second car. Stanley was in the third car. And Ford and Derek were in the fourth and final car. Jones testified that he saw Derek shooting from Ford's car. Jones received clothes from Council as a reward, and Chester later arranged for Dillard to give Jones heroin. Now, that's a detailed, reliable account about the fact that 
Brandon Brown, a.k.a. Sco, was involved in the murder of Snitch's news big homie, Antonio Beans Blewett. So, of course, Snitch's new story about his relationship with the Hobo Twins doesn't add up. He allegedly met them in jail in 2006, and afterwards they all went to boot camp together. Right? Bolegs was shot 19 times in Newtown Territory in June 2006. The Hobos and Brandon Brown murdered Beans after a funeral in September 2007. So, when did the Hobo Twins visit Snitch's News in Indiana to smoke blunts, hit licks, and plan on forming their own super gang? Your guess is as good as mine. They end up getting down on those one of their bodies. You know, they got multiples on people, on, 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 on the free people at Leslie, or to the feds, you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, they was, they was just, they, they, they was coming. You know, you can't do nothing but as a gangster, you know, I, what my block was into it, not my block, but, you know, my people was into it with them. So, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say my whole block because it wasn't the whole block that was into it with them. It was just Bean team, the Bean team, Bean and his team that was around them, which was me and my guys in Fifth Wood. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it, 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 it being into it with them, it ain't what people be thinking like. Like, yeah, we was into it with them, but... You know, it wasn't like they was just, you know, sending, sending it, and it wasn't coming back, bro. It was a lot of coming back and spending and everything. They really didn't play with me and my little homies, but, you know, they younger guys like Milk, um, b Rup, the ones who are in the feds right now, they ain't play with us, bro. Like, they see us and, and what's up, bro? You know, I ain't even know them the ones who we was in tour with. That's how, that's how food and shit was. Martell, Gangstalicious Wiley, is food. If you enjoy this channel, Surgically Dissecting His Lies, then please smash that like button and subscribe to the Cartoon News Network.